What's up YouTube? Mike here from Techno GI and welcome to part one of my seven part video series that I'm going to do about seven must have iPad Pro apps to create and edit upload videos for YouTube. So it's pretty simple. I'm going to cover seven apps. You can see them in the thumbnail. But today I want to focus on iMovie for iOS. Um, iMovie for iOS is a great little app, uh, fairly powerful. You can if you have an iPad Pro, you can actually render, edit, and create and export 4K videos. And it does it fairly fast. It actually does it faster than my computer itself. So it's a great little app. So let's get to it. All right. So you may be asking yourself, so why would you want to edit video on an iPad? Well, for one, I can lay on the couch, have my iPad, use my Apple Pencil, and edit it away. It's just convenient. It's comfortable. It's portable. Whereas with the laptop, it's a little more bulky. The battery in life is not as good. With this, I can grab it and go take it to the coffee shop or wherever I want to go and edit video comfortably uh, in the comfort of wherever I want to sit. Like I said, it works great with the Apple Pencil. I highly recommend um, editing with the Apple Pencil. It's not a necessity by any means, but it's the Apple Pencil affords you the ability to be a lot more accurate and streamlined with your video editing. Whereas I got my big fat digits here, I can use the Apple Pencil and it just gives you a deeper level of accuracy. So obviously the first step of creating and editing videos on your iOS device, whether it be an iPhone or iPod or an iPad, again, which is what I use, you've obviously got to get it from the camera. And if you use an external audio device like I do um, off of this to the iPad, I'm going to show you the way I do it. Um, there are various ways you can do it. I personally like to use iTunes in a wired connection just because when you're transferring large 4K video files, you can use different wireless solutions. Like I know SanDisk makes a little wireless uh, USB card reader where you can put it in, use the app, pick it up on your iPad. But I know those are kind of slower solutions, but uh, I did order one, uh, which I'm going to try. But I think the fastest way is just using your computer and using iTunes. So let me show you now. All right, like I said, the first step is obviously getting the files from your camera, and in this case, my H1 video recording device, to my iPad. Like I said, I think iTunes is the quickest way. I've got a wired connection. So obviously, uh, I'm going to use iMovie. So all you have to do is click on iMovie, and you got a little inbox here and I just hit add file. I've already done this so I'm not going to do it again but that's all you do is hit add file and then um, wherever you put the file from the SD cards of your recording devices and you'll just select that. So simple as that and now let's uh, take a look at the actual process. Alright so obviously once uh, you drag it over from iTunes to your iPad you got to open iMovie and then uh, just you'll see on the top left uh, you see the little arrow there, I'll show you here in a second. All you got to do is click that and you should have the option to um, either import it from your iCloud Drive, that's where you put it, or in this case iTunes. So we're going to import it from iTunes Then you can either put it in a project you already have open or create a new movie. And that's it. Um, here is... Alright, here we go. So. I've got two audio sources here, as you can see. Let me close that so we can make it bigger. So I've got the audio uh, that's attached to it from the camera, and then I've got the Zoom H1 audio down here. Now I'm using these waveforms to sync it up. So I do the old school clap, so I clap four times, and then with my Apple Pencil, I can hold and press on the blue waveform here, and I just slide it until I get to where I want it. So. I want to show you something here, just a difference in audio. So let me take this guy, and I'm going to turn him all the way down. And then I'm going to take this guy, and we'll go ahead and crank him up. Make sure you can hear him. So, and I'll hit play. So let's get it uh, to where I'm talking. So here we go. What's up, YouTube? Mike here from Techno GI, and today I want to do a little bit of a different. Let me boost that volume so you can hear it better. Different video, and this is for a new group and community that I've uh, joined, subscribed to on Facebook, 
and it's called Tube Ritual. And all it is is just a group of like-minded individuals who want to create great video content on their YouTube. So you can hear the audio is not bad, but you can hear it's kind of the background hiss. So now I want to take this guy and I want to turn him down to nothing. And I'll click on this guy and we'll turn him up uh, to hear, see what it sounds like. YouTube channels. So that's from the H1. Um, trying to sell a product or just doing YouTube videos. Trying so as you can tell, the H1 sounds way crisper, just a better audio sound. Now you don't have to do this, like I said, without using two audio tracks, it would literally take five minutes to edit this video. It takes a little bit longer when you're using a second audio track just to be able to, um, how can I say it, uh, yeah, merge the two. But like I said, it's not near as bad as you think. If you, You've got to do the old claps. So as you can see, we've got the waveforms. We'll turn him back up so you can see the waveforms. And all I did was just drag this on top of that one, and you can see where it matches up. You know, it's not probably going to be extremely perfect like you would get from Adobe Premiere Pro Audio Sync, but I couldn't tell the difference. So anyways, that's why I use my two audio sources. So I'm going to take this guy and go ahead and turn him down and keep on trucking. So obviously um, for the editing here, let me get to where I'm starting. And I'm just showing you my whole process. So this will probably be a long video, but if you're bored, I'm sorry. What's up, YouTube? Mike? What's up, YouTube? So then I just hold down here. Nope. All right. So let me show you what I'm going to do. So before I do all that, just a simpler thing is to uh, merge these audios. And the way I can do that, uh, uh, first I'm going to go to Detach Audio, and then I'm going to delete this audio from there. So right now I know it's already matched up, so I'm going to go ahead and export this just so it, the only way to make it merge to it, and then it's easier to edit. So uh, I'll just keep it at My Movie 2, and then I'm going to save video. To, I'm gonna go and go 1080p now because it would take me forever to do a 4k video so it's gonna export to my camera roll and it's gonna automatically combine that audio source from the zoom h1 to the video natively so I'll let that do its thing and then we'll pick back up all right so as you can see this movie was exported to my photo library so now uh, I'm gonna go ahead and create a new project, simple, just so I can uh, bring in, it's going to be my last recently added, yeah, getting pain in the butt, which I know it's this one, so I'm going to go ahead and drop this guy in, and we'll hit, I don't know why that's on the other side, but anyway, so here's the one that I just literally exported, so this has got the audio mixed in, so it should match up. Let's try it. Uh, until this 30 days is ended. So that's kind of my goal. And the first kind of... Now that sounds pretty darn good. And we can even boost it more if we want. So I'm going to take it up to 200%. Kind of premise or thing we're supposed to do. Yeah, so that audio sounds really crisp. I'm pretty happy with that. So now is where we can start doing our other editing. So uh, first I want to drop my intro in here. 19 seconds. So this is a, it, the um, intro I already made, so I'll show you this. So, bam. So. All right. All right, so go ahead and it automatically drops in a transition, so. I've got my intro, and now I just got to start clipping this guy, which is super simple. So, go. let me get to where I'm at. All right, here we go. Ready to go. So, go ahead and split this guy right here, and then I can click on him and delete him. And it's just that fast, so let's see. 
got a little more. What's up, you? So yeah, so I got a little more I need to trim. Got my mouth open, which is very unflattering, but we'll split, delete. Here from Techno GI, and today. Make sure I didn't miss it. What's up, YouTube? Mike here from Techno GI, and today I want to do a little bit of a. So bam! So now I'll just go to the end. All right. So as you can see, it's fairly simple. So Get that. So with that, thanks for watching. All right, and there's the end. So now I just hit split, and I can delete this guy, and it's that fast. And I've literally uh, created an entire movie that fast. So now all I got to do is hit done. I can call it what I want. Oop. So we'll just call this um, intro final. And we hit done. And then I'll just save it in the format I want. So I'm just going to save it to my camera roll. But here you could actually literally upload it to YouTube if you click that. But the problem is, I'll just show you, I'm not going to do it, is, I mean, I can still upload it to 1080p, but it doesn't save any of my tags or any of my pre-filled stuff. So you have to type in all that stuff again. So I don't like doing that. Um, so I'll just use it a... Uh, I'll upload it another time to YouTube, but I'm just showing you that. You can do it with the app, or you can use the Google Chrome app and upload it that way as well. But uh, we'll go ahead and save this guy. I'm going to save him, uh, 1080p, and then it's going to export. And that is it. That's uh, how I use iMovie. That's pretty much all I do with iMovie. That was just a real quick demo, uh, pseudo tutorial, more of a demo than a tutorial, but great app and if you've got an iPad Pro it's already free for you so as always thanks for watching please subscribe I don't know why I keep pointing why am I pointing for that yeah for that matter cut